Hi guys, James here. So for our last week of developing pull-ups, we're gonna look at some techniques we can use for pull-up variations and the pros and cons of each of those variations. Let's get right into it, look at some variations on the pull-up. So let's look through some variations on the pull-up exercises and their various pros and cons and what we can use them for. Our first key variation in the pull-up is the chin-up. The chin-up turns the hands into a less mechanically advantageous position. It forces more work into the forearms and it also forces more work into the width of the back. It's particularly used in bodybuilding to develop more of a V taper. It's an excellent all-round exercise. Our next variation for the chin-up is a neutral grip chin-up. This puts our hands in, again, a slightly less mechanically advantageous position, but focuses on the brachialis flexion of the forearm. This, again, develops a fair amount of forearm strength, but is slightly easier than the full chin-up exercise. We can also vary the way we grip the bar. And one of the key variations we can do this, particularly for sports that require a lot of specific grip, such as climbing, or combat sports such as judo and jiu-jitsu, is to use a towel style pull-up. With the towel style pull-up, we wrap the towel over the bar and we take a grip on the um, towel itself. This is very stressful and very tough on the hand, so it is a more advanced movement, but it develops a lot of sports specific strength. Another way we can vary and progress the pull-up exercise is by doing some kind of power pull-up or kipping pull-up. This is where we use an amount of momentum and generate some force from the lower body in order to accelerate ourselves further to the bar. Although sometimes described as a cheat rep, it does force us to be able to move to the bar faster and this creates more power. So for those that want to develop more explosiveness, the power pull-up is an excellent option. As a progression from the power pull-up, we can use the full muscle-up exercise. The advantage of this is we increase the range of movement, the number of muscles and the number of joints used in the movement to clear the bar fully and end up from working from a pulling movement to a pushing movement set over the top of the bar. Again, it's for the development of power and speed. So guys, there we have some variations on the pull-up exercise and how we can utilize those variations for different needs, for different wants with our clients. Guys, I hope you found that video useful and if you have any questions about any of the specific variations, put that in the comment section below. Guys, thanks for listening and we'll see you next time.